Those who support gay marriage in California are going after the people who gave money to the recent anti-gay marriage vote. The anti-gay marriage people won, and they're now being hit in the wallet. Fred Carger is founder of the group Californians Against Hate, which is helping to organize boycotts of companies and employees who gave money to the anti-gay marriage vote. Fred, welcome to the program. Now, uh, you, are, you are picketing uh, El Coyote, that's a uh, Los Angeles uh, Mexican restaurant, because one of the managers, who is also part of the ownership family, one of the managers, gave $100 to defeat gay marriage, and you're picketing. I have to say, that looks to me, on the surface, like a deliberate economic intimidation of your political opponents. Well, yes, yeah, we, we are not participating in that, in that boycott. We, we have called boycotts of three companies. Uh, the, the largest gave $693,000, A1 Self Storage, Terry Castor. Those are the ones we're going after uh, because we think it's uh, a right of the, the public to know who's giving all this money to take away our marriage rights. But it, 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 is, it is an attempt to ruin someone economically who disagrees with you politically. Well, boycotts have been going on since but you it know, is an attempt before to this ruin country sir, was formed. I mean, you're, you're attempting to ruin somebody here. I mean, we're a business program. No. We, you know, we're concerned about money. You're trying to ruin someone, literally wipe them out. And by the way, the, the lady, Marjorie Christopherson, at this El Coyote restaurant, she says she's close to a nervous breakdown and may resign from the company. I mean, you've, you've ruined her. Is that right? Yeah, no, I, I, again, again, Stuart, I'm not involved in that effort. I feel sorry for some of these individuals. She happens to be a member of the Mormon Church, and I fault the Mormon Church, not Marjorie Christopherson. Did you publish the, the name of the El required... Coyote? Did you, did you publish the name no, of the no, El Coyote no. restaurant to get people to pick it and boycott it? No, we did not. As I mentioned, our, our list, which we call a dishonor roll, is made up of 1,200 donors to Yes on 8, individuals, businesses who gave 5000 and over. We're going after the big, big contributors. Yeah. It's, it's public information. It's the Secretary of State's information we put on our website. People can make a decision if they want to patronize these businesses it, or not. Don't you think that it has something of a chilling effect on free speech? These people are exercising their constitutional right to give money to a cause they believe in. Now you're trying to ruin them. I mean, that has a chilling effect on free speech. You've got to admit that, Fred. You've got to admit that. And not hey, we didn't start this fight. First off, the, the conservative Christians and some of the, and the Mormons and others have put these marriage initiatives on the ballots in 30 states. They've been successful in 30 out of 30 states to take away our civil rights. And we're fighting back right now, and they're not too happy about it. But that's too bad because we're gonna, you know, we're in tough economic times. Economic times. We're gonna, we're gonna, you know, boycott certain businesses and tell you, the Mormons okay, wait, are, wait are, are responsible for this. You're also, you're also using the word hate very freely. Let me ask you this. Barack Obama has invited Rick Warren. Rick Warren opposes gay marriage, and he's going to give the invocation at the inauguration. Now, by extension, your use of the word hate, let's extend your logic, that could also now apply to the president-elect. I mean, are you, are you calling him a hate monger because he's hired Rick Warren to give the invocation? <laughs> no, we're not calling anyone a hate monger. Our, um, well, if you oppose gay marriage, if I oppose gay marriage, if I oppose it politically, and if I give money to that cause, I'm not saying whether I do or I don't, that's irrelevant, but would you then say that I'm part of the hate brigade because I'm, I'm, I'm exercising no. that constitutional no. right? Of course not. But in what, what context do you use the Rick word Warren, hate? Why, why does the word hate that's our committee appear in your, well, in your because title? Because if Howard Amundsen gives a million four hundred thousand dollars to take away marriage from 36,000 people in California and millions more around the country, I don't think he likes gay people too much. Hate? And I think I mean, Rick that's Warren, a, that's by a his comments... That's a big word, Fred. Come on, hate <laughs> is a big well, word. You know it. We call it. We call a spade a spade, I think. And oh, you're calling people it hate? do hate gay people. Uh, no. Well, I, 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 I think certain people do, and I'm not saying that, you know, someone who voted in support of Prop 8 hates gay people, but I think someone who gives over a million dollars to take away our, our right to marry and our civil rights does probably hate gay people. All right, Fred Carga, we appreciate you being with us. Thanks very much for appearing on the program, sir. Thank you, Fred. <laughs> okay, thanks.